Hey, I'm Kip Felice with Miller Industries, and today we have Scott McCormick from Phoenix, USA. Today, Scott's going to go over adjusting the toolbox latch and a couple other maintenance items on the Phoenix, USA toolboxes. Thanks, Kip. These boxes come with the latches adjusted from the factory. Occasionally, they do get out of spec. Uh, this bulb seal is a compression part. This door is compressing over time. You will have to tighten your toolbox latch eventually. We're going to show you that this one is a little bit loose. Mike, did you stick a piece of paper in there? That paper comes out way too easy. So to tighten this up, you always make sure your three-point system is extended. I take the boxed in of a wrench. I take this three-point part and I just bend it over a little bit. You don't want to get too crazy with it. You get both ends. We adjust those first and we're going to test it again. Looking pretty good there. You can hear it sing a little bit as you pull the paper out. Once those are in spot, we're going to move into the middle latch. To do it, you need a couple 17 millimeter wrenches. You need those pliers help. There's some cotter pins that hold the three point arms to the latch assembly. We're going to take these cotter pins out. Don't lose them. And you can mark the holes in this plate. That way you remember exactly where they go in. I'm going to slide the three point latch arms up through the latch a little bit. That way it's not interfering with our ends while we try to adjust this. Take our wrenches and we're going to loosen the latch. We don't want to go too far with it right off the bat. We're just going to move it eighth to a quarter of an inch down, and then we'll test it. And we're going to do a paper test again. Okay, that's pretty good, but I'm going to make it just a little tighter. Do our same process, just loosen it. We're going to do a paper test one more time. That looks good. Now that you've got that tight, let's make sure we have all of our nuts in this assembly snugged up good. There's some serrated lock washers down in there that really hold everything tight. So once you get it tight, it should not come loose. We go back to a reassembly of the three-point mechanism. Always remember to bend your cotter pins out to keep everything from falling apart on you. And you're gonna attach the other three-point arm. Bender cotter pin out so nothing falls out. That's got everything reassembled. Mike, let's do one more hit with the paper here. This paper's a great way to gauge how tight the door is compressing that seal. Everything looks good. Everything's in adjustment. No water is going to get between that door and the bulb seal. Hey, thanks Scott for the overview of how to adjust this latch. As Scott mentioned, this gasket up here does wear out over time. It is proprietary to this box, so if you just go out to the hardware store and get any gasket, it won't work. Um, you can get this gasket from Miller Industries Distributor, part number 9032157. Remember everybody, go to MillerID.com, subscribe to our news feed, stay up to date with all of our news information from Miller Industries.